um, what I thought I'd do is have a go at drawing this picture. Uh, I got it off the internet um, of this chap here, how to draw into uh, how to make a two-point perspective drawing. I thought, well, I really dislike tutorials, but um, I thought I'd better have a go at this and see if it's achievable. And seeing it is, that's the picture I've just drawn. I'm going to have a go at it myself. I would say that when I draw, I'm going to draw quite heavy. But you can see when I originally drew it, I drew it quite light. I got the distance wrong there, so I had to redraw it in. So if you draw it light, it makes it easy to rub out the marks, rub out your construction lines. So my advice is draw it nice and light. But I'm going to draw it dark so you can see it, you know, on the camera. What I'm going to do is start with a um, piece of A4 paper, and I'm going to come in five centimeters this is what I did on the last time we drew a picture so five centimeters and I draw like that let's add the same on the other side five centimeters and this is so we can draw within the picture so five centimeters and then a line down along the bottom uh, I'm going to just do a width of a ruler which I think I measured last time is about 38 millimeters, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to just make up the, the measurements as I go along anyway. So as you can see here, look, you didn't see the line out there because I've drawn it nice and light. Um, so now I'm going to mark down my page uh, 8 centimeters. So on there, I'm going to mark 8 centimeters. That's going to be my vanishing point. And on there, I'm going to measure down 8 centimeters. That's going to be my vanishing point. So this is going to be a two-point perspective picture. Um, then I'm going to um, start by drawing the table in. Well, I'm just going to put that on that vanishing point. That's going to be the eye level. And I'm just going to come down a little bit, and that's going to be the back of my room. So um, then I'm going to find a corner of my room. Um, that's going to be about there. And if your picture looks slightly different, that's not the end of the world because I've just made those measurements up. And there I came in about six and a half. But it doesn't matter, you can just judge it. Um, on the, the computer now, I'm going to put the back of the computer, a laptop about there. The front is going to be about there. Like you can see where it goes down. It doesn't could just above the edge of the picture and then this is going to be the desk at the front um, then on the other side I'm going to do the edge of my laptop so that's one edge and then it's going to be the base and that is almost like drawing a piece of paper on a table in perspective I'm going to make that a little bit thicker so then it will become a more so solid object even though I'm drawing that, I just don't make it a little bit thicker. I actually make sure it goes off to the vanishing point. Because even though you can't see it, on this edge it's going to be slightly thinner. Because as things go further away, they get smaller. And the same on that side. Um, now, I'm going to draw the top there. Um, I'm just going to imagine a nice angle that my um, computer is going to be on. And I'm just going to get that to parry so it's sort of parallel with the other side um, there um, on if you've seen in the beginning there was lines there where I made this too short I thought if I close that down it's not going to be um, it's not going to fold exactly so that was five just to happen to be five it can be any measurement and then so I measure out the same so it looks like when I fold that down it would fall down exactly and then that line goes off to that vanishing point over there and likewise I'm going to just make that a little bit thicker so, so it looks like a solid object here I'm going to perhaps round off those corners get a softer edge um, now uh, oh, well there that looks like a, a laptop already now on my laptop I've got a little screen that just sits inside so what I'm going to do is that line will go off to the vanishing point get that screen to sit inside there and because the screen the, the frame around the screen is slightly thicker 
I'm going to pull it a double edge there. And if I'm looking up into it, I'll see a little double edge up there as well. So now it, now it looks like it sits back in. And this was the reason for drawing nice and light so you can rub those lights out. You can see because I've drawn it dark, it makes it harder to do. Now uh, I'm going to put the little mouse pad on. So sometimes they're off to the left and right, so I don't really need to find the center of the laptop to do that. And the keys, the lines of the keys, just put my lines in like that. Sometimes you have these different sets of keys at the top, so what I'm doing there is making sure that that line stays on the vanishing point so it swivels around. Just like when we drew the tired room in class. Right, so now I've got this um, table bit or a little workbench there, and so I'm going to draw that in. The other side of the bench is going to come out there. I can judge it. And um, to make that look like it's not paper thin, I'm just going to make it a little bit thicker. So again, going off to the vanishing point, even though these lines look parallel, they're going to be longer at one end than the other. And on there, off to the vanishing point. And I'm going to draw a deeper bit of the desk. Now I notice that if I do it there, it looks like it's in the corner, but if I just come in slightly, it gives it some depth underneath, as though that's slightly inset. And that line's going to go off to that vanishing point over here. Now the window, I'm going to have to have a window frame on it. And uh, that window frame is going to have a line there. And there's going to be my window. And I can have some bricks outside there to give the wall a little bit of thickness. And the bricks themselves are going to, I could measure these down, you know, one centimetre, half a centimetre, or something like that. Space them out. And it doesn't matter where they go because they could go further down into the the, the building. And um, I could really make them look like bricks if I put a little indent there where the cement goes, the mortar goes in between the bricks. Um, on this one, there's a um, horizon out there, and uh, there's a uh, some water. Now the water on the earth is going to be at your eye level. So that will be between the two vanishing points. So between the two vanishing points, that's going to be a little landmass reflected in the water. You could have a sailing boat on there, like in the picture. And that's how to do the um, the water outside. Um, if you lived in Norfolk and the land was completely flat, that would be the horizon between the two vanishing points. On there, there's a book. And this is a bit sneaky because that book doesn't conform. It's, in one point perspective so on there I'm going to put a point there on the, the eye level and you can then draw a book which then goes to the vanishing point a new vanishing point altogether so as if we're drawing in um, three point perspective and that's gonna have a little curve on there to show the book edge that's gonna so that's how to draw a book and then you can change it off to another vanishing point same if you wanted to put the book on the other side the vanishing point you could put a vanishing point somewhere along the or the the between the two vanishing points and draw and have a dot and then make a new vanishing point so that's how to put a book in um on there i did some shading and i did that just by using a pen and again a little handy in put the ruler upside down so your ink don't smear underneath because if you go like that and put lots of ink underneath you get this won't do it now you get this splo uh, splodgy line again there if I was doing this edge I want to put some shadow coming in from the window and there I put a ruler up against the edge and I shaded up to that edge put the ruler up to this edge and then I can put um, shadow and that's how I get a nice sharp edge. And of course the light's going to come in the window, so that's going to cast a shadow. That's going to have a shadow under there. 
lot of shadow under there, it could almost be black. And um, that is how to draw the laptop and book. Uh, I'd like for you to have a go at that. If you wanted to, you could go on this chap's site and have a look, see how he drew it. He draws it different from me, different, um, or do it my way. Um, that's it. How to draw a laptop on a desk.